Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with another Try Something New video. I mean, we're going to squeeze as much fun out of Modern Warfare 3 as we possibly can in the last few weeks because Grandpa Newbie will probably never visit it again. I've only ever revisited World War II because I love the maps, I love the history behind it, and recently Black Ops 4 because I wanted to get a feel for Black Ops again. Other than that, no matter how much grind I did, I mean, I I got the top camo for just about every title in the last 15 years. No matter what, I don't revisit them. I keep moving forward. So, some of you have taken this Try Something New to a new level. And one of them is the friend of the channel named Relentless. And that's the way he plays. He's relentless. And he said, and he said, hey Gramps, try out the Bass P. And I have before. It's an OG weapon for Modern Warfare 2. So, I decided to try it again. He didn't specify configuration but he did say it got buff and he was absolutely right with the release of season six the bass p og smg did get a buff increased near medium damage minimally but significantly neck and upper torso damage got increased so i thought well maybe it's a gacamole machine this is how i configured it 50 round drum i'm going to play free for all again so there's no dainty magazines for grandma he goes out there with a full hang it as low as it goes 50 round drum now the damage is 39 to the head which is pretty good 33 upper torso 30 lower torso you see that 10 percent increase kicking in there and upper legs at 30 so those are the damages how fast does it fire though and that roughly 870 rounds per minute so it's a quick firing weapon the bullet velocity is close to 600 meaning just below 15 meters for the hit scan range which means any enemy hit less than 15 meters is going to be like you're hitting them at point blank in terms of bullet travel it's a hit scan the effective damage range is 16.2 meters you can see that the kick seems significant 52.75 degrees per second vertical recoil is okay at 40 degrees per second but at 777 the horizontal recoil is the number of completion and you are going going to get perfect completion with this weapon because the horizontal recoil non-existent now this is the composite from all the attachments i hung on the weapon accuracy hip fire is okay good in a pinch the max is actually a decent max at 5.3 degrees per second if you're moving speaking of moving mobility is average ish except for ads movement speed we got 3.3 degrees per second handling ads speed a little on the slow side sprint to fire speed is awesome at 100 milliseconds the d37 grip and that basically just helps with recoil the paracord grip this is a no-brainer all green no red that helps significantly with that perfect number of completions 777 on the horizontal recoil sprint to fire speed 12 percent it helps with the movement speed and with the ads movement speed the sonic suppressor s I like that one because it slightly increases the damage range, but also the bullet velocity in a significant way. You're going to get faster GAX with it. The horizontal recoil, vertical recoil, 4%, you're not going to notice it as with 3% on the sprint to fire speed. The 6.5 inch Bruin Drake barrel, and that helps with mobility and handling and the hip fire spread max. Yeah, there's red there, but it's 5% or less. Don't worry a bit about it. Speaking of not worrying, let's go into the no worry shooting range and see what this thing does. First, let's look at the recoil and it's going to be hip fire straight up for a while, 50 rounds, and then it bends off to the right. Recoil on the ADS. Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, slightly to the right. So that's interesting. ADS, you're not going to see that recoil. Let's look at the medium range. Several headshots, good gacamole, and looks like a good gack at 15 meters or so because I'm standing back in the shooting range, which they never let you do in a real shooting range. Let's take Relentless's Bass P onto the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa. See what it did to Grandpa's sometimes grumpy enemies. Let's go. Let's get into this free-for-all emergency. 
Sick people there, and we're going to be shooting them. All right. A little jumper to start things. And Grandpa buys the farm. Looks like a fighter pilot there, maybe. I don't know. Look at that guy moving. He's got that good side-to-side -side going. He's got the cha-cha to the right. Oh, actually, to his left, to my right. Grandpa's going to take a snort of something powerful there and gack a zombie. That's what always happens. So you can see uh, the recoil is nothing with this gun. Even at relative range, it shoots straight. Easy to control. Of course, the horizontal is just not there. Whoa, what is going on? That guy has an SMG, too, I think. Grandpa put the black light on for the footprints so that he could see where the Muppets go. The guy was Muppeting. There we go. Oh, what's going on here? I think I just saw a drone powder somebody. Of course, Grandpa got his buddy. Let's see, there's a good camping spot for Muppets. Throw out some welcome mats. Oh, there's a Muppet. You know, I've noticed if you just keep jumping sometimes, you can break lock on the aim assist. I don't know whether that's true or not. Comment below if you think that's true. So there's a little jumper, too. Grandpa's getting behind here. So... And uh, going to get situational awareness like a buppet in the corner. Let's see what we got going here. Oh, and he eats one in the back of the head, but he's going to get a little, little revenge there. Revenge served hot is the best taste in revenge and. Call of Duty. There we go. Kangaroo went around again. I'm going to recover here and then get up our situational awareness, our SA, our Sierra Alpha. See what's going on. Pop people in the head. Because 1.1 headshots at 39. That's, that's a good good amount there of damage these people just keep coming to the same spot it's because they're showing up on the mini map grandpa's got a suppressor on which i don't normally have but everybody's showing up on the mini map well, look at this guy he's going to go in the elevator and muppetize himself but instead he gives grandpa an ims I'm going to put that thing out to welcome people into that high traffic area. I'm telling you, that this weapon absolutely deletes people. Absolutely deletes them. And then Grandpa buys the farm, but he's four ahead. Well, <laughs> buys the farm. That's what tends to happen at the end of a free for all. If you can get to that 29 point, there we go then things feel safer all headshots fast fast rounds per minute and hit scan grandpa feels the rhythm it's a snickers victory 30 i don't know how much of a victory but it's a victory nonetheless the bass p is a gacamole machine so i never ran into that chammer guy 8240 he got 3.25 he must have been must have been him camped up on the on the desktop so grandpa's got a little shopping to do so we're going to the mercado it's one of my favorite maps i realize exclusive ace put it c tier or d tier or something i think i would put this at a tier a tier just because it's beautiful there are a lot of places to go. I like the spawns I, when I play free-for-all. There are a lot of places to muppetize. There's that guy there. Revenge, he's just muppeting from one corner to the next. I'll run into him a few more times, I'm sure. 
I don't know why people play free for all, that all they're going to do is camp and wait for better players to run past them. Whoa. There he is again, I think. Yeah, I like the Mercado. I really do. The map is colorful. It has an exotic feel to it for me. There's a cantina. You can stop, get some good pig brain tacos. There's Michael Myers. Oh, <laughs> Grandpa ran out of bullets. Important safety tip. Pro tip. Do not run out of bullets, especially when you're in a tight gunfight. Where are these people? Where are they? Oh, there's one. And you can see once you pull the trigger, you delete people, especially when you're inside the hit scan range. Wow, that was a fortunate double kill. I don't think the second guy ever saw me because he was ADS. He was all headshots. Whoa, there's the Muppet. Ranger Joe is a Muppet. He is not a Ranger. You could say Muppet Joe. There's Michael Myers. He was a drop shot artist. It's kind of nice because you don't get blood everywhere when you're already on the ground. Where's the nasty cocktail dress lady? Oh, that worked out. Aim assist for sure. Check the corners for Muppet Joe. What's going on here? Another Muppet. There's the cheerleader. Unfortunately, had to gack her. I know some of you will be outraged, but what was that? Let's go back and get that guy. He's standing there. She, Little Red Riding Hood with a sniper with a moors? Come on. I bet she took out the bears. I bet she's got three bear heads on the wall in her bedroom at home. Ooh. Let's take a snort. Something powerful and hip shot. There's Red Riding Hood. Love this map. Have I said that yet? Look at the flower boxes. Whoa. Little Muppet there. Copy. UAV is on station. Recon online. Yeah, get out and see the world. Don't stand in a corner. There's a lot to explore here in the market, especially pink foot plants when people step in pink paint. This guy's dead. He's dead. I, don't you hate that when you're putting out some sort of a lethal and somebody gacks you? I mean, Grandpa can practically do this one on autopilot. There we go for the IMS. Hey, let me know if you guys think the, if the IMS is any good. I, I'm, I'm wondering on that. I mean, it does good against me, but I don't seem to get too many gacks with it. Here I'm walking around with it like I'm delivering food. How come it didn't go out? How come I still have it? There we go. So we're just basically going through the motions here. I'm telling you, the Bass P, if you haven't tried it, you want to have some fun. Knock the dust off it. Get it out of the box. Rub the Cosmoline off of it. There's Michael Myers and his typical... Drop shot. Makes it easier to get a headshot. Whoa. Is that the cheerleader? It looks like they stepped on something, too, that Grandpa left. <laughs> they got a three, triple kill. Yeah, the IMS is doing, doing work for Grandpa. Oh, there was somebody I turned my back on. I just noticed that. The synapse in my brain just closed. Uh, get him. The green man. So if you try the Bass P, 
OG. Let me know what you think, because I thought it was pretty awesome. Let's get rid of that thing. I thought it was pretty awesome. Whoa. It shot fast. It shot straight. Has a decent hit scan range. Takes out cheerleaders. You can see it's just straight as an arrow there. Headshot is impactful. I liked it. Thanks, Relentless, for bringing it to my attention. I'll probably leave it as a class for tonight's, whoa, for tonight's uh, stream at 6.30 p.m. Thursday nights. Just need one more GAC. And if somebody comes in front of Grandpa, another Snickers victory. It's so satisfying. Grandpa doesn't quite feel the rhythm. He's tired of dancing. So let me know how, what you think. Ah, oh, okay, I can't keep the rhythm out of me. Let me know what you think about it. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Hit the streams. They're a lot of fun. We play with a lot of folks. Take care, cheers, and peace.